Red and pink are usually the go-to colors when we're talking about celebrating Valentine's Day. This year, instead of maybe a hot pink, we're talking pastels. And we check in with our style expert, fashion enthusiast, Aji Berg. Thank you for joining us today. Good morning. Good to see you. And like you're dressed the part a little bit too. That's a, a pretty in pink, perfect for Valentine's Day. Definitely. Definitely. I know it's perfect colors, red and pink, and those are actually colors that are in style for the season. I love it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the styles and the trends, because uh, we love to talk to you every season, um, but we're kind of in February in the middle, so we're going with, you know, uh, the style of love. Uh, what are we seeing for styles right now if you have a big date night coming up for Valentine's Day? I like that, the style of love. Um, <laughs> some of the, the styles are um, romantic, and that's perfect as well. I partnered with one of my favorite boutiques in town, Leela and Lavender, and put together some pieces that we can wear for Valentine's Day and also give as gifts. Okay. So I, I, I have some that. pictures. Yes, definitely. Okay, so here's the so, first picture. And when we were talking about like muted or pastel colors, that's you know what we're seeing in these pictures. Definitely. So these um, items here are spring color trends and lisa we haven't had a chance to talk about our pantone colors but do you know that the color of the year this year is that pretty yellow it's called illuminating and it's just so pretty and the message around it is about hope and light and i think it's just perfect and that i think these pieces would be great if you're going on vacation if you're lucky enough to go somewhere warm you're gonna feel great in that. Um, the slides, Lisa, are the must have shoe for spring and summer. And I think would be a great gift as well. Those slides are exactly on point because they're a little bit heavier almost in style. So um, not quite as dainty, but still really chic. And um, we saw those on the runway of Givenchy, Gucci, everywhere. So great pieces. The skirt and top, um, beautiful color. It's called Desert Mist. Desert tones are back in style, which really is one of my favorite um, trends. And I love the open weave knit sweater paired with that beautiful skirt, all boho, chic, just easy and feminine. I love that. I always um, am drawn to the feminine looks for sure. The dress, obviously a little bit dressier. I know uh, when I was looking through some of the pictures, you do still have some, um, you know, styles and trends that are a little more casual, though, if we're adding some of these colors with jeans, right? Definitely, yes. We always have to have our jean looks because they're so comfortable. Um, I love these uh, graphic tees and the sweatshirts. They're easy and comfortable and great messages, you know, the, the freedom. And then the, I mean, I thought this one was so perfect for me, Lisa, the Beverly Hills t-shirt and my two places that I've worked in fashion are Beverly Hills and Fargo. So kind of a great combination. I think I need that shirt. Um, also the jeans, a new look in the jeans, um, or I should say newer is kind of that boyfriend relaxed um, look with a high rise, kind of a fuller leg, distressed, easy, comfortable, very chic. And the Havanas are a new Havana pair at Leela. They have the croc embossed um, detailing, so chic. And the shorts, Lisa, I love those because I, you know, again, kind of boyfriend style, loose and relaxed. And I think it's nice sometimes if you want a little bit of coverage and great again, if you're going on a vacation or um, escaping the cold for a little bit. I love that the boyfriend jeans are back. The uh, next few pictures that we're going to look at kind of go back to, I think, the feminine look. You have some really pretty blouses and tops that uh, I would love to buy. Exactly, very romantic. I'm actually in LA right now and I was in the Gucci store yesterday and they had a mannequin. It was all um, though all of those shades of pink in one outfit, including the shoes. So it's all about pink for this season. And Leela has all these colors. They're just perfectly on trend. Beautiful. I love that silk blouse, that um, flowy puff sleeve. 
very feminine. And then if you wanted to do just a sweatshirt, also has that feminine detail at the sleeve, that pleating, um, so pretty in the blush colors. Blush pink is my favorite go-to pink. Um, again, you can find the right pink for your skin tone and your personality. The middle picture there is a more of a jewel tone pink, and that's called Raspberry Sorbet. It's a, an important color for um, spring and summer as well. And then all the florals, so feminine, so pretty. And that one is so, um, so chic with the ruche detailing and sweetheart neckline. All great pieces to wear for Valentine's Day as well as to give as presents. I love that. Okay, and we can't forget about accessories. We talked a little bit about some shoes already, but you have some fun pieces um, from Leela and Lavender that uh, are really going with your theme. Exactly. So, like, if we just want to give, I don't know, those journals, how great are those for, to your mom, to a friend in the $20 range? Just great price points. How about a fun uh, mask uh, with the Valentine theme? And then those bags, the tote bags in the middle, very French. Goyard inspired, which is a designer bag. Those are so chic in the $80 range, perfect gift. And then um, also to the jewelry, hearts are big as we know for Valentine's, but all year round really. And I love Lisa, those are hoop heart earrings, which I think are so chic. And then a utility boot. That is another trend we're gonna see for spring and summer going into actually transitioning into Spring is the utility boot. I love the color in cognac and then kind of that light almond color. So chic. I love it. Well, we are out of time, but I love all of these pieces. Maybe you're uh, going to spend Valentine's Day with uh, your sweetheart. Maybe you're just going to do that Galentine's Day and hang out with your girlfriends. That's fine too. Great pieces. Exactly. And I want to tell you one more thing is that, um, you know, Giving Hearts Day is coming up. And this weekend, Leland Lavender is giving a proceed um, portion of their sales to uh, local charities so we can support the community and shop at the same time for Giving Hearts Day, which is so important. It is. I love that. Aji, thank you so much again for your time and enjoy California for us. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today, celebrating big and small milestones. We're talking to the owner of Cycle Bar next.